Okay, peeps, so you can see from the towers here, we're still um, sort of on the area that is Long Plain. We've come up and over the top. You can see the group down there and the poles going back over the, the top of the hills. We're working our way up to the northern end now. I just want to show you this because we're in a sphagnum bog area. Right, eh? You know me, I don't bullshit, I don't lie. There's no need to tell you lies, right? This is reality. There's Brum Minua. It's not uh, super fresh, maybe a week old, a little bit down there that's even older. But we're coming down now and we're coming down into a sphagnum bog. All right, you can see down here all that nice sphagnum moss. We have our waters flowing down and through. All right, effectively it's a seep, people. It's a sphagnum bog in a seep. All right, so we're going to track through. Now you'll notice as I go out there, you can see some areas of some slightly flattened grasses. All right, you're going to see them back down here. You can see where the brums have been moving. Okay, it's not just brums, rabbits and things get in here. Okay, we've got some signs down here of some freshwater craze. Brums don't eat them. All right, brums eat grasses. Sorry, Don Driscoll, they're not cannibals. They don't eat bloody flesh. They don't eat crustaceans either. All right, so something else has had a bit of a, a feed on this yet. But all around us, we've got mosses. And why have we got mosses? Because we're very carefully walking through our bog. So we're following down here, and it's easy to see the horses have come down the edge. They're not over there. They're not over there. They've gone up here. They've turned right. They've come across the top there, and they've meandered over that way. Or they've continued up through that little gap that you can just sort of see um, in front of me there where we've come from. So we're walking down through this bog. All right. You know I do this, peeps. Look, there's the water. Okay. There's the mosses, the grasses, everything else that goes with the sphagnum bog. Mosses down here in the shadow. So we're tentatively walking down. We're walking where the brums walk. There's moss everywhere. There's seep streams everywhere. Um, you know. Lots of vegetation. There's no damage. All right. Again, like I said, flattened grasses. You can see that they've been here. That's fine. We're not disputing that they walk up through here. But the mosses are alive. The mosses are thriving. All right. Nothing's dead. It's doing really, really well. Okay. So we're just going to keep walking down. All right, you know I don't lie to you and I don't bullshit to you. You're seeing what I see. You're seeing it as I see it. Okay. So, we're coming down. More brum poo. I told you, I don't lie to you. I don't need to lie to you. There's the mosses. Even around the bum poo, where they have to have put their feet. Because, let's face it, poop comes out their bum. And what's in front of their bum? Their back legs. So, they've had to walk through this. They've had to stand on this. But it's alive. It's all there. It's there for everybody to see. There's the stream. There's the mosses. Here's the path the brums walked. And oh my God, have a look. The mosses are alive. The mosses are thriving. This is a well-studied sphagnum bog from what I've been told. Well-researched, well-studied. Okay, more brum poo. Down there. All right. And we'll just keep on going. Everywhere you look, there's mosses. Even down here, where their tracks have gone through the middle of it, you might find the odd little indent, the odd little impression, but you don't find dead moss. You don't find missing moss. You don't find damage. You don't find destruction. Okay? It's right there. You can see it. Plain as mud. More brum poo. You tell me, people, it's all lies. Okay, yes, they walk through the area. There's a nice little stream down there flowing away beautifully. They walk through the area, they graze the grasses. But have they killed the moss beds? No, they haven't. Have they damaged the moss beds beyond uh, recognition? No, they haven't. In fact, to be honest with you, if the brum poo wasn't here, you wouldn't know that brums had walked through that sphagnum bog. Anyway, catch you soon.